In this video, I'm gonna cover some common truck insurance requirements to help you make informed decisions when buying your truck insurance policy. Also, for those that are new to the business, make sure you stay tuned till the end because I will be providing some bonus information that will really help you activate your operating authority without you having to spend thousands of dollars on insurance. Let's get into the top four most common insurance coverage requirements, starting with auto liability, which is also known as primary liability. Primary liability coverage is required by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration for all commercial trucks. If you're involved in an accident and you're at fault, auto liability will help pay injuries and damage to the other person. Let's say you have a truck that crashed into a car. The auto liability will help pay for medical bills and fix the car. The kind of freight you haul will determine your minimum coverage requirement. For example, if you haul non-hazardous freight, the minimum coverage requirement is $750,000. But keep in mind that 99% of the time, a broker will require that you have $1 million in coverage. If you haul hazardous materials, for example, or you carry over 15 passengers, then the minimum requirement is $5 million. Number two, physical damage. So we just went over auto liability and how it covers what happens to others if we were to injure them or if we were to damage their vehicle. But what happens to your truck? That's where physical damage comes to play. Let's use that same example that I used for auto liability. Let's say your truck was damaged in the accident. So physical damage would pay to repair or replace your truck up to the stated value you provided your agent. So if you tell your agent that your vehicle is worth $30,000, then you'll only be covered up to $30,000. When it comes to physical damage, the FMCSA does not require it. However, it will be required if you're financing your truck. Regardless, I strongly advise that you add it to your policy. Physical damage coverage provides coverage to repair or replace your equipment in the case of a collision, a theft, a fire, or vandalism. Typically, the cost of this coverage, it will depend on your truck, and then also it could depend on your deductibles. Number three, motor truck cargo coverage. Cargo coverage is not as simple as it appears. On a basic level, it provides protection against losses resulting from a fire, collision, striking of a load. But what happens if the goods are stolen or the goods get wet or your refrigerator malfunctions? Here's another scenario. You're involved in an accident and the back door pops open and all, all the cargo spills onto the highway. So now you've created major debris on the road. A basic cargo policy will not cover the cost of cleaning up this debris. And for the very few that do, it is very, very limited. So it is crucial to ensure that you have proper coverage for incidents when it comes to theft, when it comes to water damage, when it comes to refrigeration breakdown, when it comes to debris removal, pollution. This is where we enter the discussion about broad form versus specific form policies. But I really don't wanna dive into that just yet because I don't wanna confuse you. Just know that brokers are typically gonna require that you cover the value of the cargo being hauled. And in most cases, you're gonna be required to have at least $100,000 in coverage for the goods that you're hauling. There are some instances where less is required, but given how rare it is, it is best to just carry $100,000 to avoid any problems with brokers down the line. It can be a lot to digest. So for the purpose of keeping this video short and sweet, I did create a separate video about cargo coverage. Go check it out. Number four, trailer interchange coverage. So this is for my power unit guys that are hauling non-owned trailers, but are subject to a trailer interchange agreement. Trailer interchange is essentially physical damage insurance to the trailer you don't own. This insurance protects you if the trailer is damaged by collision, fire, theft, explosion, or vandalism. You must have a trailer interchange agreement in place. If you are hauling a trailer that you do not own without a trailer interchange agreement, you are not covered. You will need to secure a regular non-owned trailer policy if you aren't subject to a trailer interchange agreement. 
So here's an example of trailer interchange. You're hauling an exchange trailer and you pull off the highway to refuel. While you're inside grabbing a bite to eat, your truck is stolen. Since you don't own the trailer you were hauling, your regular comprehensive coverage or your physical damage coverage will mm. not pay for the stolen trailer. Instead, your trailer interchange coverage would protect you. If you selected a limit of 20,000 and your deductible is 1,000, you would pay the first $1,000 towards paying the stolen trailer and then your insurance would pay up to 19,000 towards the replacement. Let's say the trailer was worth more than 20,000, then you would be responsible for paying the difference. So make sure that you're adding the right amount of coverage. All right, so I just covered four basic requirements for most trucking operations. Each type of trucking operation has its own unique requirements. And I will be creating additional videos to address each kind of operation and its specific insurance coverage requirement. Along with that, there are four other insurance coverages that are not mandatory, but you shouldn't really ignore them. Not having them could actually potentially ruin a trucker financially. So I have produced a video about this, so please follow the link below as you definitely don't want to be put out of business for lack of knowledge. So now for the bonus. This is for my new owner operators. If you're looking to activate your operating authority, but you don't have everything in place yet, or you're wanting to build up to six months before starting a company like Amazon, there are ways to get this done. This would involve obtaining bare minimum insurance policy, often called aging your motor carrier or your MC. You can age your MC by purchasing a minimum policy, and this policy would require you to place your vehicle, whether it's a car or truck, on a bare minimum policy. The fee varies depending on your state, but it can range anywhere between $300 to $700. Feel free to click here for more information on how to age your MC as I have a whole video that dives deeper into it. Okay guys, I hope this information was useful. Let this be a basic guide to help you make smart decisions and protect your trucking business. Remember to review your policy regularly and adjust your coverages as needed. If you need additional help with getting your insurance, click the link in the description and book a free consultation with me or my team. And last but not least, if you want more helpful tips, please follow and subscribe. Bye.